today we're gonna to be talking about how to hit a bomb site properly if you're not with a big core group and on your own. I did the same concept with a POV VOD of Boaster in my last video that you should totally take a look at. Hitting bomb sites the right way is super key to getting success in your rank matches, and also holding the bomb site in a post mine is also super important. I go over this with a student here and give you plenty of examples to be able to help you in your rank games. Pacing is going to be based on how your front end attacks. Everything that happens on this map has a cause and effect. So if four people send themselves all the way down here, it's going to naturally speed you up just a little bit more. Because what happens is, is when they start seeing a whole bunch of people here, attention gets pulled to that spot, especially when there's a big right. number of people. So that's when you need to start moving up. So we're gonna watch how you move here. And you move very methodically and that's okay as a lurker, but sometimes you need to act a little bit faster. So for example, yeah. right here, this is all good up to this point. And now, they burst into the site. So here's where I would start saying, hmm, I need to start figuring out what's going on in showers to be able to support my front end attack here. We're gonna be coming in from behind. My feeling here, you bought a Leer, I love tossing a Leer in there. The reason why I want you to toss a Leer in here is it's a feeler. You wanna see what's going on in this yep. uh, area. If someone throws a Leer at you, and let's say that you're on defense and you get to this position here, what's your natural mm -hmm. reaction? You shoot it, yeah. which reveals exactly where the person is. So I want you to try to treat this as kind of like a surrogate drone. There's a lot of functions for the Leer that people don't think about with Reyna. If you clear it out, Sorry. then it's all good. See, like this angle here probably would have been cleared out just naturally a little bit faster. You can already see the bombs going down. So in my opinion, yeah. we should be here. So our pacing is a little bit off with the group Whoa, right now, the it. unit, okay? okay. Yeah. So because you're actually in the know. wrong position here, you end up getting this kill, which is fantastic, okay? So you're still a little bit, <laughs> you're still a little bit behind right now. Definitely way yeah. behind, way behind at this point. And now we're in a good spot. So here's where this is pretty much all you need to do. At this point, you can book a vacation to Mexico if you want. You're good. You don't have to do anything more until there's action on these guys because you're going to be coming from behind the entire time. Here's where you make a small mistake. As you're moving up, you decide, I want to get involved, right? I want to get some of this juicy stats, right? So I can get my RR faster. By the way, we've already proven that frags don't necessarily mean you're going to get more or less RR, okay? Sometimes this living is good. This You living here is actually a securing position. So I don't want you going anywhere beyond this point. I think you're perfect at 4v2 situation right now. We don't need to extend any further, okay? So as you go up to here, this is where you start breaking the rules. I want you to take a look at what could possibly go wrong here. One, two, and three people all are within one tap range. You're the one with yep. full HP and you have this complete area locked down. So you can play off this bomb in 1v1 very easily. If you extend out here and you force 1v1s, let's say that this Sage randomly peeks out here and takes you out, you're gone. And now you've left three people with one HP. Shit can happen, okay? If you've watched yep. Marvel movies, are you a Marvel fan? Yes. <laughs> you know there's a multiverse of madness, okay? And in yep. some sort of multiverse, this did not go well for you. You ended up losing this one before. What secures mm -hmm. you the round is you staying this position. So that's where your pacing really is on this round in particular. I think everything up to that point was a little slow, but now you switch gears and moved a little bit too far. And a lot of times it's your drive to look for that stat. Your drive to look for that frag right. to get involved that you just need to say, you know what, I don't need to do anything. Just let the kills come to me at this point, and this is easy mode. All right, so we're, yeah, again, I feel like pacing's a little bit off. I don't know what the hell these guys are buying if he only had a pistol in this situation. That's crazy. But pacing's a little bit, a little bit slow. I'm totally fine with you being back here. Just take a look at where your team is now. We need to be moved up. And you can just exist here again. You don't have to do a damn thing at this point. This is totally fine. Yep. So now we're overextending. And the timing is such that someone could be in the smoke. Here's the one thing I want you to remember. If you are up numbers and they are down numbers, smokes are not your friend. Okay, you, you, yep. you run into a lot of problems doing this. What you're about to do right here, you're dead, okay? Any higher rank, if they're in position right now, they're taking this advantage all the time, okay? Doesn't matter what character it is, they should actually be playing in there. Crosshair placement, way low. The timing here, if you have cleared this whole angle out, which you did, they have to be here by now. They have to be. They're gonna use that smoke, so cross replacement needs to be a little bit higher. My thought process is that you're probably staring at this right now, right? Yeah. This spot here is a super powerful position on the map, so it's not that it's not needed. I like that you're doing it. I think the timing is off for it, though. Okay. You had to have been one of the people entering, like the jet, for example, to take that space. So mm -hmm. you're you're way too far behind in your pacing early into the round to be able to take this space safely. That's the problem. Okay. 
Now let's address the looking at the mini map. When you had to look at the mini map, it was significantly sooner. It was around here. This is what you need yeah. to look at. Okay, so now you have all the information, you know what's going on, you see the smoke. So if we move ahead again to this point here, we need to understand when you can look at the mini map. We saw a moment where you could. You could stare at it for a long period of time. This point in time, you can't, because now you're in danger of a fight based on timing of what you saw with the smokes earlier. So you actually have to be looking at the crosshair dead on at this point. Okay. Now, the times which you can look at the minimap are based on what I call the driver's protocol. If you think that you're under threat and there's a 50% chance of you taking a fight, you can flick your eyes around like you would when you're driving a car. You're looking at the mirrors, okay? The side view mirror, the rear view mirror, the side view mirror. So it's a quick flick for information. You can do that for like half a second right now. Okay, you flick up, you see what's going on, your crosshair placement is in the right spot, you're ready for a fight. In this situation, you're in what I call active mode. So crosshair placement, and you know you're in active mode once by being in the threatening area, but also knowing that this area here is what I like to call the oh shit line. The oh shit line yeah. is that line where you walk up, someone peeks out on you, you go <gasps> like that, and you're not ready for it. Okay, we've all been there as Valorant players. This is a point where you have to 100% be focusing on the action in front of you, not anything else, right? And that's why you get kind of caught off guard here, okay? Okay, you're good. You don't have to do anything more. You just stay here, right? The reason why I know is because we have the bomb site. I want you to think of this yep. way. You know we're in post-plant situation. We'll call it PP, okay? You know you're in PP situation when you either go to the bathroom or you get two kills, okay? Kidding, there's another one. The other reason is back lane control, okay? If you have back lane control or you get two frags on the site, we've started post plant. That's a general rule of thumb. Now there are some outliers to these rules, but if you follow this, it covers eight out of 10 times you're dealing with a situation, you know that you're in post plant. So what you need to be thinking about, as soon as you get to this post plant situation and two people are down, you look at the mini map and say, where do I need to stand? You don't need to go any further. Right? Any further momentum creates a fight for these guys, which is exactly what they want. So you just hold this position, they plant here, you're good to go. Okay? You just win from here. No more action. Perfect. Love this. It's all good. Flanks covered. with shotgun. Lumps. It's all good. One okay, last one's on lamps. So you don't need to even fight this. You can support if you want, but you, I wouldn't even bother. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Just live. Perfect. Yeah. I, right there, I just felt like I... I feel like if one of my guys gets picked there, like, it's just rough. And that's the reason why I pushed out there. I just feel like it's one of those situations that we haven't trapped in lamps. Yeah, there's a lot of people that will speak out against me on this one saying, oh, you should support your team and so on. It's like, well, you know, we have the time here. The time's going uh -huh. down. Here's the worst case scenario. This jet peeks out here, kills him. That's a one view line. Then he peeks further and you peek out to try to support him because your timing is slightly off. Then that's another one view line. Now you've left your brimstone yeah. in a one view line. The bomb's right here and we have more time. He has more time to work with. So where I'm saying play back here, this is the more general, uh -huh. like, guaranteed win, right? Because okay. if he kills him, he still has to wrap, find Brimstone, kill him. Then he has to find you. Now you've burnt yeah. five more seconds. Five seconds is an eternity. And the lower the time is, the more pressure's on this guy to make the right decision. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not liking what they're doing, communicate. Yeah. Yep. Say, 3v1, 3v1, let's not take any ones. Don't take any ones. Fight back. Fall back. Fall back to me. 